Hello friends, this video on Asset MBS part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Let's take this thing. We have learned acid and base and we have learned a lot of difference between acid and base. Now it's time to learn what is common between acid and base. Both conduct electricity. To do the activity, what you can do is you can do a setup like this. Where this is a wooden thing which do which won't connect electricity. You put the nails, put the wire, put the battery, put the setup. Now put acid in one case, maybe HCl, and you'll see that it conducts it. The bulb glows. The bulb glows. That means the something. That means that the the circuit is complete. What complete the circuit? This thing. That means this acid is conducting electricity. Then you remove the acid, put the base. Then also you will find that this bulb glows. Why the bulb glows? Because the circuit is complete. And what completes the circuit? The, the sodium hydroxide or any base which you have taken in this complete circuit. That means any acid or base, it conducts electricity. Correct? To find this is very simple, you have this bulb. You put the positive end here, negative end here, right? And you put this in the battery. And then you have this kind of setup. Uh, you don't put anything. Now you put acid, and you see that it starts connecting electricity, uh, and uh, the bulb glows. That means the circuit is complete. That means there is something that is uh, the charge is flowing from here to here. But here nothing is there except this acid. Then we can say that acid is conducting electricity. You can repeat the same experiment in the base, and we'll find that this bulb glows at base also. That means base also conducts electricity. You can do this experiment in your lab. Now the question is what happens to an acid or base in a water solution? So acid generates H plus ion and base generates OH minus ion in the water solution. You put that in water solution, it generates H plus, and acid generates H plus and base generates OH minus ion. And please note all base will not dissolve in water. Alkali is the base that is all. We have done that. Only alkali dissolves in water. So alkali is a substitute of base that dissolves in water. So example is in the this is the acid. Here we have put water. If you see that, what you have got is H3O plus plus Cl minus. So in this case, if you see that you have got this H plus ion, right? This is H plus ion here. In case of base, if you put base with water, if you see that you got OH minus ion plus water in we will get here so it becomes NaOH and here this becomes H plus NCl minus H. Correct? So in a water or aqueous solution if you put acid it gives H plus ions free H plus ions and when you put the, uh, the base in water the, uh, the alkalis which are soluble in water it gives OH minus. So now the question time. The question time is why does an aqueous solution of a acid conduct electricity? So we know that for acid or anything to conduct electricity, you should have free ions. Right? So anything that has free ions will conduct electricity. Correct free ions or free electrons will connect to three. So if you see the moment you put this guy HCl to water, any acid to water, it gives ions, right? These ions are responsible for conducting electricity. Same thing, you take pure water, it won't connect electricity. But the moment you put salt, common salt in the pure water, you get Na plus and Cl minus ion to water. And these ions make them good conductor. So if you take pure water, you, you try to connect electricity, it won't conduct. The moment you add this salt, NaCl, it gives ions, it connects electricity. Same thing, you take pure water, actual pure water, it won't conduct electricity. But the moment you put acid in this, it gives H plus and Cl minus ions. And these ions are responsible for conduction of electricity. Correct? And if you want to understand more on this, 
we will watch a physics chapter on current electricity where we explain uh, how this ions helps in conducting electricity because electricity is nothing but electrons right so for electron to carry they need a carrier they need a carrier so this carrier is ions or free electrons itself so in case of metals or copper zinc and all the metals they have free electrons in them they conduct electricity in case of wood and all they don't have free electrons they don't conduct electricity so in case of water they don't have free electrons but when you add acid or salt to water right it, it gets this uh, ions in this and these ions are responsible for conduction of electricity the second question is uh, is gone i have used the space but i can just tell why the dry acl uh, doesn't change the uh, color of litmus that means we have this dry acl and acl i'm saying is an acid but this is a dry acl please note this is a dry acl in the gas form why it doesn't change the color of litmus paper as i told that for anything to change the litmus color it has to be acidic that means it should have h plus ions right dry acl is not having h plus ions the moment you put this dry acl in water then only it gets the h plus ions and then it becomes acidic in nature but dry acl is not having h plus ions since it is not having h plus ions it is not acidic it doesn't have acidic property and so it will not change the color of the plus paper but the moment you add this in water this gives hcl h plus ion and this h plus ion is responsible for the acidic nature of this hcl and it becomes acid hope you understand this dry hcl is a gas form and it doesn't have this h plus ion freely available it's all bonded with the ionic bond and you can break it the moment you put in water it, it breaks because water is a uh, covalent bond actually i mean it is something like this it is slightly positive and uh, sorry not positive and this is like negative so i mean we'll explain this uh, why it is like it, why uh, you this compound breaks in ions in case of water in class 11 where we'll see that uh, water if you see the water molecule it is slightly positive here and slightly negative here so it is it has some charge so uh, the na plus comes in this side cl minus comes in this side and breaks there is a reason why it breaks we will learn all things class 11 but just understand for timing is you put in a salt in water it breaks into ions you put in acid in water it breaks into ions and thus it conducts electricity the why it breaks in water we'll learn class 11 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.